Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to code the CSS button hover effect. To start, I have a basic HTML file set up. In the head tags, I have changed the site title to PM Coding Tutorials and imported the Google font Urbanist, which I will link in the description. In the body tag, I have added a button element with hover over me as the text. This is all the HTML markup we will need. Next, we can add some styles. As we only need little CSS for this project, I will be adding the rules within the style tags in the head of the HTML document. I am going to paste in some CSS styles that don't really relate to the button effect to save time, and I will quickly go over the code. In the root, I am defining a CSS variable for the purple color you see on my screen. This makes it easier to reuse it as I don't have to type the hex color out every single time. Within the body, I am setting the font family to Urbanist. I want to center the button in the middle of the screen. I can achieve this by setting the height of the body to the height of the window with height 100VH. Then using display flex with justify content center and align item center, the content will get moved right into the middle. Moving on, I have also given the button some basic styles. I changed the cursor to pointer, the font family I am setting to the same one as the body. The font size I am increasing to free RAM and I am adding a padding. I am starting my live server so we can see how the project looks right now. Currently, we just have a very plain button right in the middle of the page. Let's add the styles required for the effect I have shown next. Within the button selector, I am defining the color of the text as the purple one saved in the CLR variable. The background I want to be transparent. Additionally, I am also adding a border with a 4 pixel width, solid style and the purple color. I want the edges to be slightly rounded, so I am also adding a border radius of 0.4 RAM. Finally, I am also adding position relative here, as we will be using the pseudo selector after. Within the button, colon colon after selector, I am first defining content as an empty string. This is necessary or the pseudo element will not show up on the page. I am also adding the position absolute here, as I want it to be removed from the normal document flow. Having given its parent, so the regular button, the style rule position relative, I can then position this content relative to the button. If I had omitted position relative within the button selector, the content in after would be positioned relative to the body. The width and the height I am defining as 30 RAM. I want to position the content right in the center of the button. This can be done using left 50%, top 50%, and then transform, translate, and passing minus 50% and minus 50%. Let's also give the content a background color so we can see it on the screen and the border radius of 50% so that the shape becomes round. If we look at the project now, you can see a huge purple dot covering the button. We will animate its size to achieve the effect I was showing at the start of this video. To the transform property, I am adding another value which is scale 0.2 to significantly reduce the size of the dot. It's important to not add a comma between the translate and scale values or it will not work. Next, I will take care of the hover states. When the user hovers over the button, the text should change to Y. Then within button, colon hover, colon colon after, I can define how the purple dot should change. I am once again adding a transform property and defining the translate values, which should stay the same. The scale function, on the other hand, should get 1 as a parameter, so the size of the dot increases to 100% of its size. Now you can see the dot increasing in size when I hover. The text is not visible though, and the transformation is not very gradual. Also, I don't want the dot to be visible at the start of the effect, so let's correct these issues. To the button, after selector, I am adding opacity 0 to hide the content a z-index of minus 1 so it doesn't cover the text, and the transition of all 0.5 seconds linear to make the change smoother. Under button, colon hover, colon colon after, I am adding opacity 1 so that the content becomes visible. If we have a look now, we can see the dot changing gradually, but it overflows the button. So the last thing we need to add is overflow hidden to the button selector. 
Additionally, I am also adding a transition of all 0.5 seconds linear here so that the text color changes gradually too. And with this, the project is done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer. Thanks for watching and see you next time.